hello creatives and uh, welcome to my channel i welcome you all to another tutorial video so you stay tuned and watch till the end we are going to be learning how i made this this fascinator and the materials i'll be using are crinoline and i will have my alice band the roses the roses a feather stem then I have my pin, my fabric glue, and then the scissors. So these are the materials I'll be working with. Then, this is the first step. I'm going to be taking my crinoline and I'm using length of 60 inches. So the length I'm going to be using is 60 inches length of crinoline. And if you look closely, the crinoline I'm making use of is the small size, which is about um, 2.5 inches width. Okay, so this is the first step. Um, so 2.5 inches width. This is the size of the crinoline I'm making use of. So I'm going to be folding it into two, the width, I'm going to be folding it into two and I'm going to pin it down, all the way down, which after I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew. So, the first step is to take your crinoline, fold it into two, pin it, you know, to stay in place before you now sew. Okay, so this is it after sewing. Can you see that? So I'm going to be using this to form the circular loops on the fascinator. And so you watch and see how I formed the loop, the circular loop on my fascinator. So this is the loop so i'm going to also sew it together okay i'm going to sew it together and please if you can work with a longer length remember that the length i'm using here is 16 inches so let's say you want your loops to be up to four steps or five steps or bigger steps you can extend the length to be greater than 16 inches okay so after forming your loops you sew it together okay if you are enjoying this tutorial please like this video and if you are yet to subscribe kindly do so thank you so much for joining me in today's tutorial so i'm going to this is what i love to do as well to apply a little a little gun at the tip of the crinoline this makes it to stick together and it doesn't frame okay so you just apply little gun at the tip where you cut off your crinoline where your crinoline ends or rather so that is it and I'm going to be attaching it on my Alice band and I also sew it. I love sewing most of my works because when it comes to durability it stays longer unlike when you use a uh, glue to stick. So I'm going to sew the loops on the Alice band. And so this is it after sewing, okay? And I'm going to go ahead to fix the feather stem on my loops. And first of all, I twisted the feather stem, okay? 
before I sew it on the crinoline on the crinoline lips loops so I hope you are following this video and I hope you are enjoying this tutorial please like this video if you find it valuable and you can also share your your works with me I will leave the links my uh, social media handles I will leave it in the description box so you can actually share your works with me when you post you can tag me on Instagram at Nikki collections okay and if you are yet to subscribe please kindly do so I I share even free tutorials on this channel okay so this is it after attaching my feather stem and you can see that my fascinator is coming out so fine and I'm going to be fixing the roses and all I have to do is to apply my glue on them and then I stick it on the fascinator can you see how how easy it is to make in very few simple steps okay so thank you so much if you enjoyed this tutorial from SST I uh, I will appreciate a review on my shop and you can as well go ahead to purchase other tutorials that you need okay I make very detailed tutorial and thank you so much for joining me I am on Instagram at Nikki collections and I will leave the link on the description box thank you so much have fun while practicing and they see you in my other videos thank you